You are listening to the Rants and Rambles show with your host, Seth Goldstein. Thank you to our sponsors, aweber.com, getflywheel.com, and wistia.com. Check them out online today. Hey guys, um, this is going to be a show about my rants, my rambles, and this interesting things that I find online that I want to talk about. Um, one of the biggest issues I had, when I, you know, and one of the reasons why I started up PhillyTech.org, was the fact that Philadelphia, unlike the other Silicon Valley, Silicon Alley, Silicon Prairie, Silicon whatever, other tech sectors in America, tends to be a lot more insular. Whereas, you know, the New York Silicon Alley tends to, you know, branch out a little bit into the surrounding boroughs in New York, not just Manhattan. Silicon Valley especially covers like a 100 mile radius. It goes from San Francisco all the way down to Mountain View, which is at least an hour away. Um, I'm not so sure about the Silicon Prairie, which is out by out in Omaha, Nebraska. Um, our sponsors, um, Flywheel, are out there. Um, but it sounds like they, they covered the greater Omaha area. Um, Philly tends to be very insular. Um, it's either the suburbs or Philadelphia. It's not both. And I really feel like it needs to be both for us to really become a tech center, a tech hub, and a tech mecca where people are going to want to come and be part of the scene. I was at a great, I was at a great um, event last night called Philly Junto. Um, the Junto was started by Ben Franklin back in the 1700s a bu- to gather a bunch of like-minded individuals to discuss topics and help each other out. So Web Junto, very cleverly named, uh, is run by a guy named Jedi and Liz, and they run they run that company out of the city of Coho, um, co-working space on twenty four on twenty four hundred one Walnut Street in the city. And what was interesting about that was that they highlighted what are people doing in Philadelphia? What are they doing hot and great in Philadelphia? And everything was about Philadelphia proper. And they seem to forget that, like, even Doylestown, where I'm based, has a very nice, big, for its size, tech sector up here. We have a lot of web designers, a lot of interactive developers. We have a lot of startups up here. And I feel like we're neglected by a lot of the Philadelphia startups and the startup scene down there because we're an hour outside the city. We're not, but we're only like 30 miles out of the city. We're not 100 like, you know, like Mountain View is from San Francisco or around that, or, you know, down in Palo Alto and, you know, Cupertino and, you know, San Jose. Um, I feel like that needs to change in order for Philly as a whole to become a tech mecca. Because honestly, Philly has the city wage tax, which, you know, makes me not want to go to work in Philadelphia because it's an extra tax I have to pay to work in Philadelphia. Now, that's a whole nother thing to talk about and a whole nother can of worms that we should probably leave to another podcast because that, you know, some people say it's worthwhile. Some people say it's over, overly priced and it shouldn't be there and it hurts innovation. I mean, that's something completely different, a different topic altogether. But my main contention is that Philly needs to be less insular. The Philly tech scene needs to be less insular. They need to recognize the startups outside of Philadelphia more. And I think once that happens, and it isn't blatant that they're not, you know, say, hey, you know, suburbs, come on in. But there needs to be more events in, outside the city for people that don't want to necessarily travel into the city. There needs to be more. And it's also partially on us, us suburbians, to, to throw these events out there and say, hey, we're at me up in Doylestown. Let's have a bunch of people from Philadelphia come up to see us. And, you know, I think that Philadelphia's startup scene is great. The tech sector is great here. And we're in the pharma capital of the world, so there's a lot of healthcare startups that can start up and do start up. But, you know, they can start up in the suburbs, too, because a lot of the pharmaceutical companies are in the suburbs. So I'd love to hear what you have to think. Hit me up online at Seth Goldstein on Twitter, plus Seth Goldstein on Google+. Plus. You can find me all over the place. Usually I'm Seth Goldstein or Philly Codehound in other, in other places. Um... Check out phillytech.org. This podcast is brought to you by AWeber. They're the email providers for us, and we love them, and they're great. And they're based in Philadelphia, but they're not based in Philadelphia. They're based in Shelfon, Pennsylvania, which is around 20 minutes to the west of me. Um, great, solid email hosting provider. 
check them out today. Um, Wistia, which is hosting this video, so thank you, Wistia. They are a video hosting provider. Um, and also Flywheel. Have you noticed that our site has gone from really slow to like lightning fast? That's because Flywheel uses VPSs, virtual private servers, to make your sites go faster. You're not sharing a server space necessarily with, you're not sharing resources with a bunch of other sites. So it's lightning fast. Check them out at getflywheel.com. So that's aweber.com, wistia, W-I-S-T-I-A, yeah, .com, and getflywheel.com. Check them out. Thank them for sponsoring us. And check them out, patronize them, and then tell them Seth sent you. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.